Okay, you'll have to forgive me because I've never quite done anything like this, but I figured it would be easiest to explain how I color in just like a quick video tutorial thing. Um, first, before we get started, I use Procreate as my like art program. Um, now, the pen that I use is in like the painting section and it's just this one. I think I took the round brush and edited it and then I go underneath the outline layer and basically I am just going to trace basically the entire outline of like what is going to be this skin tone. So let me finish that real quick and then I will come back. <clears throat> okay so as you can see I have gone around the entirety of his face, neck, ear, and his horns. Um, and then once I've done that, if you see up here, this little dot where you get your colors from, you can drag it to where you want it. And so long as you've got that barrier, it'll color only the parts that you want. I can get the face and the horns. And then you do the same for basically everything else. So let me outline all of those and I'll come back once again. Okay, so here you can see a bit more of like the outlining of every individual part and each individual part is also going to be a different layer. And so after that, usually I'll do this all at once, but I, I wanted to show you what it looked like, um, like each piece. So now I'll just go back up to the color and then come back down and I've selected the hair layer. Oops. So then I will go and fill in each individual piece. And then there's the flat colors. So for the shading, I use the same brush. And what I do now, which actually I learned this fairly recently, I saw a video of someone coloring on TikTok and I noticed that they clicked a layer. Let's do the skin first. And then they clicked alpha lock. And if you stay on this same layer, you'll see it's kind of got that transparent background. But if you click alpha lock, and stay on the same layer, it will actually only color what is already there. So you can see like I can go all the way out here, it's not going to color unless I am on whatever is on the layer. And then there's also another method you could do, you can make a new layer and then go to clipping mask and then it's going to be a separate layer but it'll go down to the layer that's below it. Um, and it doesn't, that layer doesn't have to be on alpha lock. It'll only color on the, the same layer. But yeah, so if you want a separate layer, you can use the clipping mask. Or if you want to just use the same layer, you can do alpha lock. And it'll allow you to shade and color in only the area that already is colored in. And this is also good for, like outlines if you want to start with a black outline um but maybe change the color later so if i wanted to like change the outline color to like a bright blue i can do that and it'll only color the outline i'm gonna finish this up real quick and then i will show you all right and there you have it that's pretty much it uh that's yep that's all i gotta say bye